Here we are going to make some baked aloo pie and some stuffed salad. Link above for the dough. So after putting them into small balls, we're going to roll it out as thinly as possible. And the method for making the potato is coming on later in, in, in this recipe. So let's go ahead with putting this together. So I am putting one third of a cup into the center of my dough and I am folding it and I'm going to clip the edges with the back of a fork and once that is done we are going to place it on a tray so before we are finished we're going to add an egg wash and I put some oregano and some basil in that give it a good mix and we are going to make sure and coat our pies properly make sure and get all those edges make sure everything is sealed so nothing won't come out and we're going to place this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees. So for the stuffed sada roti, we're doing the same thing and we're going to roll it out. Be very gentle because you do not want to boost it. So this is all four of them properly well stuffed and my hot plate is heated and greased. And before we do the potato, the stuffed sada, we're going to fry some eggs and stuff those as well with some of that same potato. As I said, the ingredients for the potato and the demo for the potato is coming up. So now I am going to fold this egg and set that aside. And once the egg is finished, we are going to move on with the potato and the stuff sada eggs was ready big pies was finished and once removed from the oven we're going to set them aside to cool down and we are going to continue with our stuff sada. Let me just mention once your oven is preheated properly, you put that in there at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 20 minutes stop, it is finished. So what's coming up after this is how we prepare the potato for all of this. So let's get in to put in this potato choker together. Before I get started on a potato again, the dough link would be above. So now I have boiled three medium sized potato with no salt and I'm going to add in some herbs and aromatics into this. As I said, the link for this choker would be above so I won't go into too much details as to the ingredients. So I'm placing a little bit of onion and heating some chili infused oil. You can use any type of oil that you you like and throw over the onion and then we're going to mix that in properly and taste for the salt so you can adjust and this is the end of the potato choker again the link for the door would be above her name is Trini Kitchen I tried her dough I am also making a video on that that will be an upcoming video really really soft and enjoyable so i have shown you three different ways in a way you can use the same potato recipe you can make it with a pie you can stuff a roti or you can put it in eggs all three methods were really really enjoyable boosting with flavor so give them a try let me know how they come out thanks so much for watching and all of the links that i mentioned is above and I will also add them in the description. Don't forget to check out my coolest water bottle link and get your 8% or discount. So this is what the roti looks like when it was finished. Full of flavor, really boosting with flavors from all the onions and all of the oils and aromatics. Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this quick demo. Do have a blessed week.